What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Chelsea FIFA 17 career mode managerial rating as you can see up to 80 and it could be even higher after today's episode. We've got another cup double header, we've got the first, uh, well the second leg of um, the EFL Cup semi-final against West Ham so we could potentially book our place at Wembley, we should do, we've got a very big aggregate lead. Um, going into the second leg. So barring a miracle, I think we will get there. Good chance to see some of the rotation players as well. And we also have an FA Cup game today as well. So managerial rating could go through the roof and we could extend our stay in some of these competitions. I'm back in normal clothes today as well. No more stupid fancy dress. So focus fully on the games. Before we dive into the game though, a couple of transfer offers. First of all, Shrewsbury come in with a bid for youngster Kyle Scott. He's not going to play 450k, let's just get that one accepted. And then if you remember, Everton come in with a bid for Omarua. They're not going to up their bid. He's not going to play. Even though he's a talented youngster, we've got the likes of Zuma. Um, we've got Christensen as well. We can't bring all of the youngsters through. I'm going to accept this one. He can join Everton. So it's a London derby under the lights. Anything can happen, but West Ham have got it all to do. You can see the lineup that they've put out here. They're, they're going for it with the big man up top, but it's still a 4 4 1 1 formation. Lantini is obviously going to be the key for them. Paye, obviously, one to watch as well. We've got a four goal aggregate lead, so I can afford to completely turn or change the side upside down, inside out. Carrasco and Zuma are probably the most senior players in there. Donnarumma gets a run out in goal as well. He's been impressive. Loftus Cheek has four goals in his last three games. Oh, and he's robbed it early on as well, Loftus-Cheek. West Ham in big trouble. West Ham in big trouble. Good save from Adrian. Lack of concentration at the back. Andy Carroll turns. Oh, we've dived in, taking him down. I'll take that all day long, Kurt Zuma. Going to get a book in, though. Free kick. Going to be delivered by Payet. It does so. It's headed on by Ogbonna, and Donnarumma gets down. Well, it was a snap header more than anything. Just caught us by surprise. Lancini for West Ham. Nice turn. We're diving in. Don't dive in. Don't dive in. We're diving in. Kiyate with a chance to finish. Christian, I've dived in again. What? I'm sitting there going, don't dive in, mate. Don't dive in. I just dived in, but I thought he was going to shoot that time. It's a bit different. And Christensen sees red. I said it was going to take a miracle for West Ham to get something out of this. They've now got a penalty. And they're going to play over an hour against 10 men. That could be an opportunity for them. Dimitri Payet adjusting his run-up. He's gone for a long run-up. Donnarumma trying to stay still. Out Fox him. Does so. What a save from the goalkeeper. Got away with that one. Payet, West Ham really on the front foot now. Doom has been booked. Don't want to go down to nine. Man, that could really cost us. Here's Andy Carroll looking to turn. Donnarumma with a great save. I think we're going to be under pressure for the rest of this one. West Ham coming forward again. Here's Amat. Plays it into Lancini. Nice touch for Gouli. Zuma trying to hold him up. Zuma's done brilliantly. But a free kick's been given. And Zuma was just standing still. He's given a second yellow as well. Zuma was just standing still. Standing behind him. We're down to nine. I knew he'd been booked. I was just holding him up. I didn't want to make a challenge. In fact, Zuma doesn't make a challenge. Faguli just goes down. It's another red card. Free kick in a dangerous position too. Payet steps up. It's blocked by Traore. Be careful not to give a penalty away. I thought the ref was going to blow his whistle there. No choice but to make this change. Ruben Loftus-Cheek is the man to be sacrificed. I'm sure he won't mind. He'll understand. John Terry coming on. He will slot into centre-back alongside Chalaber. Half-time whistle's gone. We are going to be up against it for the next 45. West Ham going to overload us. We've just got to not concede four, basically. Plays it inside to Kennedy. Back to Carrasco. Inside to Baker. Finesse. Oh, Lewis Baker. Lewis Baker. Early in this second half. Puts the game, well, not the game, but the tie, certainly to bed. And surely books our place at Wembley for a cup final now. Really, really good finish from the youngster. Carrasco picked him out. And he made it look so, so simple. So simple. Traore. Nice ball inside to Carrasco. Finds Aina. Chips it forward. Carrasco could get on the end of that. Has done. Nice turn. Lay off as well. Traore with the hit. Adrian with the save. We're dominating West Ham with nine men. Come on, lads. Love it. Oh, what a ball that is. What a ball. Andy Carroll's got the wrong side of the defence. Faguli takes over. Tries to slide it through. Donald Rummer dives at the feet of Lancini and just takes the ball away from him. When West Ham come forward, they look dangerous. But on the whole, we are defending quite well at the moment with our lovely 4-3-1 formation. Chalaba's got to win that. Got to win that, and he has done. Masonda, Traore, finds Carrasco. Traore continues his run. Can he get on the end of it? He can. Oh, that's superb. Absolutely superb play 
Bertrand Traore, Carrasco with the ball through, still had a lot to do, had to bring it down and apply the finish. He done it beautifully. This pass, this touch, and then the finish, hint of good fortune, comes off the post, but superb. Absolutely superb from Bertrand Traore. We're going to Wembley, we're tuning it up, we've got nine men. Oh, Charlie Masonda, that's just silly. Hit that lap. Oh, wow, Charlie Masonda. Glimpse of brilliance. Corner driven in by Carrasco. Flicked away by Winston Reid. Andy Carroll will get there. We've got more players on a yellow card. Oh, wow. Check this out. Lanzini's away. Chance to get West Ham back into the game. He's played it forward. We are desperately sprinting back. It's Andre Ayew. What a waste. What an unbelievable waste. That sums up West Ham today. They haven't looked up for it. To be fair, they come into this game knowing that they had to win 5-0. In order to qualify. So probably weren't motivated. But they've just been so poor. So poor. Baker. Lovely football. Lovely football. We've been so good in an, from an attacking point of view today. Kennedy might wrap this up. Lewis Baker might grab another. Lewis Baker. He deserves that. He's been brilliant. Individual brilliance from Lewis Baker. He tried to slide it through for Kennedy. He got it there. Looked to lay. Well, he, he looked to have the shot. It was blocked. Fell straight to this man's feet. He's not going to miss from there. There you go. Full time whistle goes. 3-0 win. Nine men, 7-0 on aggregate, 7-0, absolute domination. We're going to Wembley, cup final time. It's going to be a difficult one for us as well because Manchester City have beaten Everton 4-3 on aggregate in the other semi-final. Chelsea versus Man City in the EFL Cup final. Maybe it'll be as fiery as the game at the weekend. Chin up, Sergio. So confirmations of the deals that have gone through. Kyle Scott has joined Shrewsbury and Kenneth Omaruo has joined Everton. So a bit more money in the budget. Bit more money in the budget means we can finally make an offer for a player. Probably a long-term John Terry replacement, this one. Koulibaly from Napoli, valued at 23.5 mil. We're going to go in, not with a bit of 28, we're going to go in with a bit of 20, just to sort of test Napoli's resolve on this one. I want to bring this man back to the club. I know a lot of you guys do too, but we just haven't got the money, I'm afraid. Haven't got the money unless a big offer comes in, or we can do a swap deal. They might be interested in a swap deal. Let's try it. 30 mil and Willian going in the other direction for KDB. What a joke. 112 million plus Willian they want. Go away, Manchester City. Napoli, a little bit more reasonable. They want 33 and a half for Koulibaly. We're not going to offer that, although we do have it in the budget. We're just going to up the bid a little bit more to 25. How stubborn will they be? Quite stubborn by the looks of it, because that's been rejected as well. Straight up bid of 30. They should accept that. Only 3 mil less than what they asked. From one cup now to the other, it's the FA Cup that we turn our attention to. The most famous domestic club competition in the world. Now, draw hasn't been overly kind to us, has it? We're still in the early, early stages of this one. And we're taking on Southampton here, which is a tough opponent. But if you want to win these kind of uh, competitions, these are the sort of teams you need to beat. Teams of real quality. The journey starts now. Not taking any chances either, as you can see. Back to pretty much a full-strength side. Lewis Baker keeping his place in midfield after his performance last time out. Southampton also leaving no stone unturned. They're really going for it with their side. Shane Long and Charlie Austin going to partner each other up front today. Former Champions League winner Ryan Bertrand will be at left-back. He's a Chelsea boy. Holberg, Hoiberg, not quite sure how you pronounce it. Going to be the man that we need to stop getting on the ball because he can make things happen. Good early start for Southampton here. Austin puts the ball in. Varane nods it back to Leno. Cool, cool defending indeed. Reed finds Belanda. Oh, Southampton started very brightly here. Reed with the cross. Need to deal with it. Marcus Alonso just about gets there ahead of Shane Long and scrambles it away. A couple of warning signs early on in this game. Southampton have not come here to sit back and defend. Neither have we, though. Diego Costa skips past one challenge, past two. Plays it in. Ross Barkley. Oh, what a save from Fraser Forster. Barkley should have probably done better. But this game, very, very open early on. Into Kante. Can't really shoot. He knows that. This man can. Hazard gets away from his man. He can shoot. What a finish. What a player. What a start to this game. Good, patient build-up play. Had to go from one side of the pitch to the other. Southampton, very compact. But when you've got quality, you can always find a way through. Eden Hazard. We know he's got quality. Doing everything we can to keep hold of this man. Good finish. Draxler at the end of this first half. Finds Costa. Looks hungry, Diego. And unselfishly finds Hazard for his second of the game. Not with a shot like that. In fact, Draxler's going to retrieve this and keep it in. Puts the ball into the box. Diego's up. Oh, he's hit the post. He's hit the post. Forster rooted to the spot. Should have been two before half-time. That was the last action of the half as well. That would have been 
a game changer to score then. Really would have knocked the wind out of Southampton. Hazard, nice turn. Costa touches it off to Kante. On one more, Ross Barkley. First time effort straight at the goalkeeper. But positive signs again early in the second half. Picking up where we left off. Hazard, oh, makes Cedric look absolutely foolish. And Font, oh, we're, we're flying here. It's Hazard, Draxler on the right. Touch and finish. Can't be done. Barkley, what have you done there? Oh, Southampton on the attack here. Skipping into the box. Cedric plays it in. Oh, it's Gallagher. Oh, nice touch. Austin unmarked. Ball's in the back of the net. However, I've got a sneaky feeling the linesman's raised his flag. It's not going to count. He was offside. As Piliqueta finds Barkley. Oh, great footwork from Ross. He's going to take this quickly as well. Diego. 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 Lewis Baker. Um, where's that Southampton defence then? Because Ross Barkley is completely through. Could apply the finish. Oh, that's cool as you like. Fair play, Ross Barkley. Very, very composed finish. We are marching through to the next round of this FA Cup. Just look at that. Sits the keeper down. Cheeky side foot. 2-0. Oh, wow. Charlie Austin wins the ball back. Out muscles his man. Has the shot. Leno gets down. Tips it behind. Southampton might not be done yet. Full of beans, Pedro. Loves to run at players as well. Pedro. Puts it on a plate for Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Surely not another for him. No, Fraser Forster denies him. Probably could have gone nearer. Looks to get past Azpilicueta. Shows great strength as well. His cross was blocked, but he plucked. Effort came in. Deflected off Varane. I think he got a toe on it. Comfortable stop in the end for Leno. And a comfortable win in the end for us. Six out of six in all competitions now. I make that. We've really picked up our form. Our managerial rating is going up. And our job is a lot safer. Things are looking up. Two rather interesting emails as well. Our bid for Koulibaly has been accepted. He wants £81,000 a week. Well, he wants 110, but he's not He's not going to get that. He's going to get 95. It's a significant pay rise for him. He should take it and join the Blues. Not going to give a squad role, though. You told me that causes conflicts. And a bid from Atletico Madrid for Hugo Mayo. Hasn't played a lot because Azpilicueta has been in fine form on that right-hand side. Not a player that I really want to sell, although he is now 26. He's 83 rated. What should we say? 30? He's valued at 20. So if they want him, they can give us 30. That's paying quite a bit over the odds for a right back. So both games in today's episode were cup games. We've booked our place in uh, the final of the EFL Cup at Wembley and booked our place in the hat for the next round of the FA Cup. So no change in the Premier League standings. Just want to remind you where we're at. We're in 10th place. It is tight, though, as you, uh, as you can see here. Three points. And a victory could take us up to sixth, um, depending on goals scored, etc, etc. But Palace, the real story of this season so far. At one end, 10 points clear at the top. And at the other end, even though they're not bottom, Brighton are the real story, the real talking point. No wins in 22 games. But that'll be where we uh, bring this episode to a close, guys. Maybe a big signing on the way with Koulibaly in the very next episode. Back to Premier League action as well. So lots to look forward to. But drop a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you next time.